I want to shout out anybody out here that's fighting against this racist bullshit in sports. Any kind of racist stereotypes, anything like that that you fighting against, that, that you are proven wrong, salute to you. Shout out to you. What made me think to do this shout out were two things. Uh, one was the shit I'm seeing about this race norming. I don't know if y'all heard about this idea, but race norming. Some bullshit where uh, uh, with the NFL, they were doing these cognitive tests, right, to try to see if a player had dementia or anything like that. And then if you were black, they would basically uh, uh, score you based on a, a lower standard uh, with the thinking being that blacks, uh, black people automatically had like a, a lower functioning uh, of cognition or some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? And that you had to uh, uh, judge their cognitive test based on the fact that they're already coming into it uh, from a lower standpoint. That's textbook racist. Textbook. And when I say race, I'm talking about the idea that one race is superior to another. Not this bullshit about if you like me or not, or we can be friends, all that kind of shit. Fuck all that. Racism is the thought that one group is superior to another. And still in 2021, black people have to deal with this bullshit notion that we are not intellectually equal to whites. We see it with this race norm and shit that, again, people are fighting this. Out. I think the NFL just said that they're going to end it. <clears throat> this 2021, dog. And now I see, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to read multiple articles about it and see what the fuck is really going on. Like, how in the hell is this still going on? And, you know, people, <clears throat> some folks putting the blame on the doctors and <clears throat> others blaming the NFL. Some saying the players, y'all agree to it. And the, oh, all this shit. All I know is it's bullshit. But we still see it rear, rear his head. You see it when Mike Tomlin gets asked whether or not he's going to leave the Pittsburgh Steelers and go to USC. But as he said, shit, y'all don't ask Andy Reid that kind of shit. Y'all don't ask uh, uh, Sean Payton that kind of shit. Both of them got one Super Bowl like I do. And I've never had a losing season. So I wonder why y'all, oh, we know what's up. We just got breaking news about they, uh, the NFL is tweaking the Rooney rule and shit. Come on, man. We got to put this rule in place to make motherfuckers pick, uh, uh, hire the best candidate. You know why that is. That's good old boy network and it's still thinking that a black person not intellectually locked in enough to think the game. Oh, you can go out there and run a 4243 and shit. You go do that. You can go out here and uh, uh, be aggressive. Can you do this? From a white standpoint, I be seeing racist bullshit. Well, people are uh, shocked that Cooper Cup be open and shit, like that he's dominant. Motherfuckers be shocked by that shit. That Adam Thielen is about that life. That uh, when healthy, Christian McCaffrey is a top five running back in the league. You know what I'm saying? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. The idea that black people are physically superior, that white people are uh, intellectually superior is bullshit. Are there differences in the races? Yes. But we got to put all this racist bullshit aside, dog. All this racist thinking and shit. That shit got to goddamn be put aside, bro. Because it's hindering people. Fuck if you like me and respect me or anything like that. But we talking about when you sit up here and come into it, uh, uh, an interview. And if the, uh, uh, the, person, the person interviewing you automatically believes that you are not smart simply because of your race. That can hinder your opportunity to get money. Now let me flip that so my white brothers and sisters can feel what I'm saying. 
for to my white brothers and sisters how you may feel if you know you can hoop. You know you can run. You know you can go out here and ball on the football field. But motherfuckers don't want to pick you. A motherfucker don't want to give you a spot at wide out. Motherfuckers don't want to give you a spot at running back. Let's say you're a boxer and you're going against a black man. Motherfuckers automatically pick against you. I know Tyson Fury cutting up right now, but that's part of the reason people are uh, so overjoyed about Tyson Fury cutting up is because it, it, it shows to, to the white man, hey, we can fight. Like, like the same feeling black folks had well, uh, when Obama became president. Like, yeah, we showed y'all motherfuckers. We can think. It's the same shit. So think about that. And, and what made me think about mentioning that shit was I saw on Twitter somebody made a thread about, like, <laughs> the uh, bullshit that the media says when a white guy is uh, balling out. In sports, oh, that he's he's sneaky athletic. Um, first in the gym, last out. Uh, such a heady player, like they just don't say, Oh, Cub going in, Cub can ball. They don't do they give you all this extra shit. And it was mostly white guys in the thread, some shit, major media personalities who you could tell didn't like that shit. They don't like that little shit that motherfuckers be saying they want their credit. But god damn it, that's the same way black men and women feel. When it comes to uh, questioning our intellect and our IQ, uh, not only in the world of sports, but goddamn across uh, all of society. So I just wanted to point that out. I know if some of y'all were aware of this bullshit with this race norming, it needs more attention on ESPN, FS1, wherever you got damn watching shit. They need to goddamn do segments on that. They really need to do some investigative journalism. I, mean, I really don't want to hit a pundits on that. Fuck that. I want to see. Some uh, investigative journalists do some real live reporting on this shit. Because I need to know. See, they trying to say with the race norm and that they were doing it for good. That they were doing it to try to uh, counter the bias that may be in the test. I would say just make the test unbiased. Black people have been here all these goddamn years. You can't make a test. That, that's, that's not just a, a Eurocentric. You can't do that. You can't do that. You got to assume that we just uh, uh, stupid. You can't just make sure that you make a test that's unbiased. Let's try that. Let's try that NFL. You know what I'm saying? Because the, ult the ultimate fucked up thing about it is because you had guys with dementia not getting payments from the NFL and shit. Because they were saying basically your test is inaccurate because your test did not adjust for the fact that you 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 have a lower IQ in the first place because you're black. See, that's that's how racism does. Like, like that's the real effects of racism. It affects this money, therefore affecting your lifestyle, your livelihood. So I just want to shout out everybody who is fighting against these racial stereotypes, whether it be black folks trying to counter the bullshit that we are intellectually inferior, or whether it be my white brothers and sisters trying to counter the bullshit that they are uh, physically inferior. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to all y'all. Keep proving motherfuckers wrong. <clears throat> and make sure y'all also Keep fucking with your homeboy first. Keep watching, put it on somewhere. We appreciate y'all for viewing and fucking with us. Make sure you follow us across all social media platforms. That's on Facebook, put it on some. That's on Instagram, put it on some. That's on uh, Twitter, P I O S underscore 100. Make sure you follow me as well across all social media platforms. You can look down in the description and you will, you will see where to follow me. And make sure you fuck with statement tees. That statement tees, every t-shirt you wear makes a statement. Oh, and we also do hoodies. You feel me? So, appreciate y'all fucking with me. As always, one. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also... 
Visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.